हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज इंजन नॉमन क्लेचर अंडर द कोर्स नेम बेसिक्स ऑफ आईसू इंजन बट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग एनी फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज हर्षित अग्रवाल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम एन आई नागपुर इन 2008 आई हैव क्रिएट द इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन आई हैव गॉट द ऑफर लेटर फ्रॉम मोस्ट ऑफ द महारत्न एंड नवरत्न कंपनीज आई हैव क्लियर गेट एग्जामिनेशन रिगार्डिंग कोर्स फी देर इज नो कोर्स फी एज सच बट यू कैन ऑल्सो ऑलवेज कंट्रीब्यूट वॉट यू फील लाइक you can also follow me on the specified link so to start with heat engine converts the chemical energy of fuel into heat energy and subsequently this heat energy is converted into mechanical energy so what heat engine mainly does whatever whether it is external combustion engine or internal com- con- conversion engine internal combustion engine heat engine converts the one form of energy into other useful form but in ic engine what heat engine does it there is a chemical energy of fuel the fuel which you are using like petrol or diesel it converts it into heat energy and subsequently that heat energy is converted into mechanical energy which is known as power so basically what are the different types of engine there are basically two types of engine which is which are external combustion engine and internal combustion engine and what is the difference between these two engine in external combustion engine the product of combustion transfer heat to the working fluid whereas in internal combustion engine the product of combustion produces power directly in the same cylinder as you can see in a rankine cycle there is a boiler turbine right so these those are the external combustion engine because the product of combustion transfer heat to the working fluid whereas in internal combustion engine if you have seen the piston cylinder arrangement in internal combustion engine the product of combustion produces power directly in the same cylinder now what are the different advantages of ig ic engine these are the different advantages of ic engine first one is mechanical simplicity the mechanical mechanism the mechanism is very simple second one is the low initial cost due to the absence of boiler condenser there is no boiler there is no co- condenser so the initial cost is very low then lower weight to power ratio the weight is very less and it produces lot much of power so lower weight to power ratio next is higher efficiency the efficiency in ic engine is very high next engine nomenclature this is very important for ic engine you have to keep in mind what is the top dead center what is the bottom dead center what is the stroke length what is the clearance volume now what is the top dead center or inner dead center it is the dead center when the piston is farthest from the crankshaft or i can say it is equal to the inner dead center in horizontal engine as you can see in this figure this is the crank this is the connecting rod this is the piston this is the top dead center and this is the bottom dead center as you have as i have told you in the definition when the piston is very far from the crankshaft this is the crankshaft and the when the piston reaches this particular position this is the top dead center this is a vertical position of cylinder if i'll keep this cylinder in a horizontal position then the piston will reach this when the piston will reach this point this is known as the inner dead center this is the piston cylinder arrangement of ic engine this is the inlet valve this is the exhaust valve just keep in mind piston never touches the head of the cylinder there is always some left out volume inside the cylinder which is known as the clearance volume i will tell you this next come the bottom dead center or the outer dead center it is the dead center when the piston is nearest to the crankshaft it is similar to outer dead center in horizontal cis- engine bottom dead center when the piston is very nearest to the crankshaft as you can see this is the crankshaft and the when the piston is very nearest to the crankshaft it is known as the bottom dead center right after that stroke length the distance between the two dead center is known as the stroke length the distance between the two dead center this is the bottom dead center and this is the top dead center the distance between the these two center dead centers is known as the stroke length or you can also call it as the stroke volume stroke volume is generally represented by vs and the clearance volume is represented by vc next comes clearance volume it is the volume of the cylinder when the piston is at top dead center or in the inner dead center now the piston is at top dead center the piston is not touching the head of the cylinder it is the top dead center wherein there is some left out volume in this cylinder this is known as the clearance volume there is a very important term what is the clearance ratio or compression ratio you will get you will face lot many of numericals and you have to find the clearance ratio or compression ratio it is the ratio of volume 
बिफोर कंप्रेशर टू द वॉल्यूम आफ्टर कंप्रेशन आर इट इज डिनोटेड बाय आर विच इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस वी एस अपॉन वी सी वी एस इज स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम वी सी इज क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम डी इज बोर दैट इज सिलेंडर डायामीटर एंड एल इज द स्ट्रोक लेंथ विच इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टॉप डेड सेंटर एंड बॉटम डेड सेंटर सो वॉट इज वॉट इट सेंग इज वॉट इज द कंप्रेशन रेशियो इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ वॉल्यूम बिफोर कंप्रेशन रेशियो ऑफ वॉल्यूम बिफोर कंप्रेशन आई मीन पिस्टन विल बी ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन सो वॉट इज द वॉल्यूम बिफोर कंप्रेशन वी एस प्लस वी सी and after compression when the piston moves towards the dot top dead center the volume is vc so when the piston is at bottom dead center the total volume is vc plus vs and when the piston is at top dead center the total volume inside the cylinder is vc so the so the compression ratio is 1 plus vs upon vc this is very important you have to keep in mind all these some um, what is the top dead center or inner dead center what is the bottom dead center what is the stroke length what is the clearance volume what is the clearance ratio or compression ratio you have to keep these mind keep this in your mind and you will face this in your numerical so the top dead center is when the piston is at the top if the bottom dead center is when the piston is at the bottom the distance between the top dead center and the bottom dead center is known as the stroke volume and the left out volume left out volume in the cylinder is known as the clearance volume right thanks a lot from my side keep focusing on my lectures the engineering services and gate examination would be very easy for you thank you this is harshit agarwal